Hi, this is Brad from Power Tools, and I'm here to show you the Filter Menu app. So this is what the app looks like when you first install it, and what we're trying to do is create a menu for the users so they can filter down through your collections. So let's start off by creating a new group of filters. In this case, let's use size, as size is a very common thing people want to filter by. And let's add a new item to that group. We'll just call it medium. Um, we can also choose an existing collection if one exists. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that's the basic process of adding filters by tag. We can also add filters based on vendor or type. So for example, we could go create new vendor group and create a new type group will automatically add new vendors and types and we'll keep the vendor group sorted A to Z. So we'll go ahead and run that job. And as you can see, we've got the groups already there and in the background it will go through and look at all your products and find the appropriate vendors and types. We can check this at any stage by going to the jobs and we can see that this has already run and is complete. and voila. Another common thing people want to search by is price. So we'll create a new price group. We'll add some price ranges in. And we'll run that job. Same as before. We have our price and our filters. Now, as we showed in the first example, we have size. Uh, we can actually make use of the existing data that's in your variance. So, for example, if we had size or color information as variant options, we can add that as a new group. Since we already have size, I'll choose color. And we run that job. It will set up a rule in the variant tagger, and it will go through and add each one of, in this case, the colors that are found in your products. So we'll see how that's going. And we can see it's found a bunch of colors. In this case, we don't want the default color, so we'll just press the little hide icon, and it's hidden. Now we may want to change the order, so let's put product types probably more important than vendor, and we may want to rename vendor to brand, like so. And we've decided that we don't want our size filter after all, so we'll get rid of that. So one thing we may want to set up is so that the colors only show once you've selected another filter. So in this case, let's make it the product type filter. So we'll choose those options. And we press save. Okay, so now it's looking like we've got a pretty good menu set up. So we press save and update. Okay, so this is what our filter menu is looking like. And you can see we have three options for type, brand and price. And color is currently hidden until we select a product type. So let's go ahead and do that. So we select a wallet and now we have options for the filter menu can definitely help with improving your product navigation as well as increasing your conversions. So that's a quick run through of the filter menu app. Uh, we do have installers for many popular themes as well as an installation service for any custom bespoke or rare themes. Thanks for watching.